So we uh, have all those different things that we can work with, but one of the great things about the TriCaster is how we can get video out of that. Now, TriCaster can process our video in 4444, 32-bit floating point, and so it's very pristine coming through the box. But in addition to that video output, we can also do a high-resolution outpoint to a uh, video projector or for image magnification. But one of the great things about the TriCaster that many, many of our customers utilize is the streaming capabilities, and that's built right in. We can stream in Windows Media or in Adobe Flash by just picking a, a particular profile, putting in a server information, and it really is as easy as hitting the stream button. Now we're streaming out live to the web. Now, of course, there's many other features available uh, in the TriCaster TCX850 that we certainly don't have necessarily all the time to work through right now, but I would like to invite Jesse back up. Maybe we have a few questions or uh, particular uh, things that we can go ahead and talk about here uh, at the show tonight. Thank you very much. Uh, my, my head is spinning a little bit, but we do have a couple questions coming in from the internet. Uh, one of the major ones, what is the cost of the TCXD 850? Jesse, that's a great question. And uh, all of these things that I was talking about today can, uh, can be put together for a list price of 25 or actually $24,995. So $24,995. So we're talking $25,000 for the eight video input version. Is there a, another HD version that's a different price? Absolutely. We have four different TriCaster models available in the product line, uh, ranging for capabilities uh, depending on of what you need and of course your, your, your budget or, or your price point. So we have a TriCaster Studio starting for education customers at $4,995. Uh, of course, uh, going up from there to our broadcast, uh, our TCXD 300, which is a high definition unit we released last year at $14,995. And then, of course, our TCXD 850 here today at $24,995. Cool. Um, one, one other quick question. Uh, there's a lot going on, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of monitors, a lot of inputs, and of course, all the controls on each individual input. Absolutely. Roughly, um, what do you got in, what, what can people do to sort of get practiced to the point where they're operating and, and ready to do it? Well, one of the things about the TriCaster, even though it has a lot of different things going on on the screen, uh, you have various sections that you can work with and it becomes very intuitive. One of the things that's great about this particular product is just starting to switch a show, I can just mouse over a particular input, say I want that to go to air, and it's easy, easy as starting uh, that way. Now, we ship with every TriCaster a Get Started DVD so that the user or the end user can go ahead and uh, get uh, all set up uh, right out of the box. Then, of course, you know, training services are available, uh, certainly with the folks at Midtown. And, uh, and of course, we could go to our website uh, at newtech, tv.newtech.com. But any particular questions, we always encourage uh, you go to our friends here at Midtown Video. Well, Will, uh, we didn't have very much time, but I really feel like one you got a lot question. in. Before, we, before mm -hmm. we let you go, we've got one more question coming in from the internet. Sure. Okay. Um, Will, Eric would like to know, can you interconnect different units in a studio over a network? Uh, interconnect, as far as control, one of the things that we need to control the TriCaster right from the unit. Uh, however, we can bring in other sources over uh, the network with our IVGA technology, which uh, allows us to bring in computer sources such as Macintosh or PCs over a network uh, interface. As far as control, uh, we need to have physical control right, uh, right to the unit. That should do it. Will, Excellent. once again, we Thank really you. appreciate you coming in to talk about this today, and uh, thanks for coming out on the show. Excellent. Come again? So let me give you guys a couple of my favorite features. One of them is something that Will just mentioned. Usually when I'm using a multi-camera situation and I want to get a computer, say I'm going to Skype somebody in, say I'm going to use a PowerPoint, I would need a scan converter and a wasted input on my switcher. Uh, what Will was mentioning with the IVGA, any computer that's on the same network as the TriCaster, you can run a little program called IVGA that allows you to use the desktop of that computer as an input on the switcher. They're called virtual inputs. It's got its own scalar. You can shrink it and grow it and rotate it and do whatever you need with it. Another thing that's very important for me with regard to the TriCaster is internet broadcasting. Now, you could certainly take the output of your TriCaster, 
plug it into a streaming appliance, and broadcast to the internet. However, one of the built-in features of the TriCaster is a Flash and a Windows Media internet streaming device. So you can take your program feed and stream it directly to your internet servers. Now, we got one more question coming in from the internet. Does New Tech or Midtown provide on-site training? New Tech uh, and Midtown will provide on-site training. If you're going to be purchasing systems for Midtown Video, we always have support packages. If you need on-site training, let us know. Get that uh, worked out with your salesperson. And uh, certainly, when we deliver the, the, uh, the equipment, we'll have somebody there to walk you through to get you up and running on it. All right? So um, sadly, as, as awesome as this is, it's time to retire the TriCaster segment of our show. We really appreciate, appreciate you guys joining us for it. Certainly, we're developing a lot of questions. Be sure to email us. Um, you can always check out newtech.com, midtownvideo.com, or send me personally an email, jesse, J-E-S-S-E, -S -S -E, at midtownvideo.com, and I will direct it to the right place and get you the right answers. All right? So thank you for joining us on this new tech segment, and now we're going to move right along.